Welcome to this valuable information from Destiny, where Margaret Lomas shares her expertise on many aspects of property investing. Today, we hope you enjoy listening to Margaret talking about single industry towns. Many people know of my preferences to get a positive cash flow, or as close to it as possible, from my property purchases. In fact, Peter Switzer loves to call me the cash flow queen. In past books, I've written about this, and in my own portfolio, I've successfully added many such properties at various times. However, what I've noticed of late is that this message of how useful a positive cash flow property can be to all investors, regardless of the entity in which they're buying, has somehow now been translated to being known as my sole philosophy and strategy. The fallout of this is that I come across investors all the time who are so focused on finding that next high yielding great cash flow property that they end up acquiring property which might have good rent returns but is in danger of not growing due to an absence of important growth drivers. Now it's also a fact that many properties which have the capacity to deliver good cash flow exist in areas where there's a reliance on a single industry. Property in these areas tend to get a higher rent return as rentals are often in demand by workers in that industry. Such towns tend to get a higher than usual rent return for many reasons, including they exist well outside of major urban areas and so the property values are low, creating a higher relative rental yield. Where the industry in question is experiencing a robust period and demand for its product, extra workers are usually employed. These workers often can't be sourced from within town and so they're recruited from elsewhere and they move to the area and rent. And as many of these workers are itinerant, at least until it can be confirmed that their continued employment is assured, they don't usually buy. So although the industry is doing well, the expanding population are not property buyers and pressure isn't brought to bear on values. They are, however, renters, and this is why rental yields often soar. Property in such areas then become an attractive proposition because initially the cash flows look fabulous. This in turn attracts more investors and property prices do begin to move. Of course, we can then see an artificial property boom, but this has been brought on purely by the existence of the single industry and the resulting hordes of hungry investors seeking at first good cash flows and then the spin-off capital gain. It doesn't take much to reverse the fortunes of those who have invested. A change in the industry, an economic downturn, a fluctuating Aussie dollar are just a few of the many influences which can take a whole industry and wipe it out in a matter of months. Rents fall dramatically within weeks and the great returns turn into dismal yields. And since property is so liquid, any investor trying to sell when the peak has been reached and the fall has begun will take whatever they can, creating widespread discounting and removing the value from every property in town. This very situation is being experienced right now in mining towns such as Moranbar and Karatha and the devastation for many is evident. And while many experts may say that where property is concerned, time in the market is the key, in fact these towns require precise market timing if the strategy is going to work. You need to get in at the right time before values move and you need to get out just before the fall. And if an investment requires precise market timing to pay off, then it also requires the investor to have a higher appetite for risk. A good cash flow is a, definitely an important factor to consider. It keeps you in the market while you wait for growth to occur. However, not just any cash flow property will do. Extensive due diligence must also be done to ensure that the higher cash flows don't bring with them the trade-off of higher risk due to that single industry. It's highly possible to get good rental yields in great areas with a diverse industry base, a growing population and a high degree of public amenity. You might just need to search a little harder and be sure to avoid the temptation of buying for cash flow alone. Thank you for accessing this great information by Margaret Lomas. If you'd like to become a highly successful property investor and improve your outcomes and profits from property investing, you can now complete Margaret's Essential Property Education course online and at your own pace. Go to destiny.com.au 
and go to the What We Offer page to read more about this exclusive property investor training course.